This video is specific to the cell cycle analysis lab protocol used in the tissue culture course at the University of Houston Clear Lake. The cells used today were counted with the MUSE analyzer and their preparation leading up to this point will not be shown. To perform the count on your cells and to ensure you have enough of them for your cell cycle analysis, please refer to your lab manual. You should have between 10,000 and 10 million cells per milliliter of media. The minimum number of cells to be fixed in ethanol for this experiment is 1 million cells per tube. As determined by the MUSE analyzer, in my 15 milliliter tube, there are 8 milliliters of media and 2.8 million cells. Splitting the volume in half, I will be able to create two samples for this protocol. I transferred 4 milliliters of media that contained 1.5 million cells to two 5 milliliter conical tubes, placed them in a centrifuge for 5 minutes, and spun them into a pellet. Since I had two tubes of equal volume, the centrifuge was balanced. After centrifugation, I carefully removed the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. Once the tube was empty, with only the pellet present, I added one milliliter of PVS. I triturated my cells within the PVS to resuspend them and spun them down for five minutes into a pellet. Once centrifugation was complete, all but 50 microliters of the PBS were removed without disturbing the pellet. With the remaining PBS, the cells were resuspended and added dropwise into a fresh tube containing 1 milliliter of ice cold 70% ethanol. After each drop was added, the suspension was vortexed. Here you can see with every drop the cloud that forms in the ethanol from the cells. I placed the tubes into a minus 20 degree Celsius freezer for three hours while the cells were fixed in the ethanol. While the minimum fixation time is three hours, these cells can remain stable in the freezer for two to three months. After three hours passed, I placed my cells in the centrifuge for five minutes. After centrifugation, I carefully removed the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. The pellet should resemble more of a smear at this point in the protocol. Once the tube was empty, with only the pellet present, I added a half milliliter of PBS. 
I triturated my cells within the PBS to resuspend them and spun them down for five minutes into a pellet. Once centrifugation was complete, I carefully removed the supernatant without disturbing the pellet. The reagent used in this experiment contains a proprietary blend of propidium iodide and RNase A that fluoresces chromosomal DNA. The amount of DNA in resting cells differs from those undergoing replication and the intensity of the stain can be used to determine the amount of DNA present and what phase of the cell cycle each cell is in. Once the tube was empty with only the pellet present, I added 200 microliters of the Muse cell cycle reagent. I triturated my cells within the reagent to resuspend them and then placed them into a drawer protected from light for 30 minutes. After allowing my cells to stain for 30 minutes with the reagent, I transferred them to a microfuse tube. Following the prompts on the Muse analyzer for running the assay under the cell cycle menu, I fine-tuned the settings for my DNA content index versus cell size index plot. Once those adjustments were completed, I fine-tuned the settings for the DNA content profile. I made each phase of the cell cycle around one and a half tick marks wide. After completing both profiles, I verified and saved my settings. Before running the analysis, I completed a quick clean to ensure that the capillary was free from any debris. Before running my sample, I lightly finger vortexed it to ensure there were no clumps. As expected, most of my cells were in the G0-G1 phase. My plate was around 65-75% to confluent when I fixed my cells and a good portion of them were freshly replicated and adherent to the plate. The other phases were most likely the cells that had lifted and were either in the S phase or going through mitosis. That's all for the cell cycle analysis lab. Thanks for watching!